Okay, our next award, um, it's a new one that the Brits have come up with because we the Brits have decided that UK R&B, garage and hip-hop deserve a bit of recognition. Because we're doing so well and there's really tough competition, you know, from bands in the US. Just walking past the Mystique girls here, they're up for this one. Good luck, girls. Anyway, to present this award, always oh, gorgeous. Uh, he's a DJ, he's the undisputed president of the Rhythm Nation. He's got a lovely voice as well, it's Trevor Nelson! <laughs> out there, right? So, the first time ever an urban category at the Brit Awards. I'm very, very honoured to be presenting this award today. So make some noise for the urban artists. And it is the biggest category. Ten nominees. And the nominations are... Magnificent. Who's going to be the winner of the first ever urban category at the Brits? I'm pleased to say the winner is Miss Dynamite. If there's one name on everybody's lips this year, it is Miss Dynamite. And what an awesome 12 months it's been for her. But is she going to win a double or even a treble whammy here tonight? We'll just have to wait and see. Best British Urban Act 2003, Miss Dynamite. <laughs> thank you very, very much. I'd like to thank my mum and my dad and my brothers and sisters. <laughs> they are my biggest support system. I'd like to thank everybody at Polydor Records, definitely. Um, I'd like to thank my manager, Tyron. I'd like to thank my husband. And I'd love to thank all of you. I really, really appreciate it. I just want to say one more thing, and that is much respect to everyone else that was in this category, because for Urban Acts, we're not just seen and spotted in the streets, and we don't just um, go on pop shows or whatever. We work hard, and we don't usually get this kind of acknowledgement. So to every person that was in that category with me, much respect, much respect to all of you. Thank you. 